PNGRCS being a member of the IFRC and ICRS who provide the technical and financial support, the Society abides by its seven underlying principles to carry out its mandate. This year on 8th of May, International Red Crescent Day was dedicated to recognizing the work of the volunteers and staff who serve in disaster affected communities. But also within their own communities, uh, where we emphasize livelihood, uh, where we get, want to get volunteers to do their own small, medium enterprise activities. Although the society does not have health facilities, it has to be hands-on with first aid as they are in most cases the first ones on the scene when a disaster strikes anywhere in the country. We have uh, two components of first aid. One is commercial and one is uh, community-based. In the last 12 months, mobility and carrying out activities has been difficult because of the COVID-19 protocols and control measures. But with help of partners, they managed to receive PPEs to distribute to the branches. They were able to reach about 18,000 people with PPEs and non-food items through their branches. PNG Red Cross Society functional budget annually is about 2 million kina with its main funding source from the International Federation of Red Cross and rentals of properties. The government funding support has been stalled for a long time now. Frida Kana, TV One News.